good morning or afternoon or evening, depending on when you watch this. Um, this is a practice for anyone who has fibromyalgia or MS or um, <clears throat> neur neuropathy. It's also good. But and in, in for really for everybody who would like to just instead of holding a pose for a long time, just move more. Um, this is a short practice and hopefully um, you'll like it <laughs> and get some benefit from it. So this is about this this type of a practice is so that we don't overwork uh, muscles for those of you that have fibromyalgia because we know that it's really easy to to overtax the muscles. For those of you that have MS, this is about sending and resending messages through the central nervous system, through the, you know, so that we refire and refire and start to, or continue really, to utilize the, um, our nerves uh, and, and the sending of messages through those neural pathways. And for those of you who are here just to have a less uh, of an endurance-based practice, this is the practice for you, okay? So we're actually going to start standing, and we won't be here for long, but we'll start with the hands at the heart. Just close your eyes. Take your feet out wider than your hips. This is going to give us a better base, a better a, a feeling of having right, uh, the ability to really connect to the earth and to the pull of gravity. I'd like you to consciously root down to the soles of your feet, drawing the crown of your head up toward the heavens. Take your arms down now alongside your torso, draw the shoulders down away from your ears and draw the crown upward a little more than you have already so that you start to feel this nice easy stretch on either side of the neck. Pull the fingertips down, draw the crown of your head up. And then inhale, open your eyes and reach your arms out just alongside, or just up no higher than your shoulders. And as you exhale, bring the arms back down. But activate your arms so it's not a passive up and down, right? Reach down as though you're trying to touch the floor. Inhale, reach out as the arms rise. So your arms are really strong. Pull the triceps up to hug your arm bones. Exhale, strong, like you're pushing something down. Right, bring the arms back down. One more time like that. Inhale, reach out as the arms rise. Exhale, reach out as your arms come back down. Pull the fingertips down toward the ground. This time, we're gonna inhale, reach out as the arms rise. Once you get to that place, exhale, turn the palms up. Take a deep inhale here, stay here. Exhale, bring the arms all the way up over the head. Good, inhale here, pull yourself up and down, root down more through the feet. Again, the feet are a little wider than the hips. Turn the palms out and bring the arms back down as you exhale. Go halfway down, inhale here. And exhale all the way down. Please keep the arms strong. So this, this workout too is isometric in nature. Okay, we're not gonna do a lot of weight bearing, so we have to decide to engage those muscle groups. Okay, let's try that again. Reaching down on your exhale, fingertips reaching down, pull the shoulders down, crown up. Inhale, reach the arms up with the palms facing down, your arms are reaching out, the triceps are firing here. Turn your palms up. Keep the crown drawing up, keep the shoulders down. Exhale, as you hug your inner triceps towards your ears. Inhale, pull apart, root down more through the feet, reach up more through the fingertips, turn the palms out. Exhale, your arms back down halfway. Please keep those triceps active. Shoulder blades draw down the back. Inhale here. Exhale, bring your arms all the way down, pointing your fingertips towards earth. One more time. Inhale, reach out as the arms rise halfway. Exhale, stay here. Draw the shoulder blades down the back. Turn the palms up on an inhale. Exhale, arms rise. Root down to the feet at the same time. Inhale, without pulling the shoulders up around your ears, right? Keep the shoulder blades drawing down, arms rise. 
Exhale, turn the palms out and come halfway down. <clears throat> Inhale, open up the chest even more. And exhale, arms down. Great job. Good, roll the shoulder blades back, roll the shoulder heads up and around and back. Do this two more times. Rolling up, back, and down. Up, back, and down. Good, and then reverse that, bringing the shoulder blades back, up and forward, two more like that. Up and forward, shoulder blades back, shoulders up and shoulder heads forward. Good, and then just shake it all out for a second. From there, take the arms up and then bring the palms together for just a moment. We're gonna bring the right hand, mirroring what I'm doing, right hand down to outside of right thigh and left arm over. Inhale, bring it back up, press the palms together. This part is important. Exhale, bring the hand, left hand down and right arm over. Inhale, bring it back up. Try to do this without using a mirror so that we're just training our proprioception, palms together. Exhale, bring right hand down and left arm over. Shift the pelvis more to the left. Inhale, bring it up, press the palms, touch the palms together, press the pads of your fingers together as well. Exhale to the other side. <clears throat> Inhale, reach it up. We're gonna do one more of those. Palms together, pads of fingers together. Exhale, right hand down, left arm over. Slide the pelvis more to the left, dive a little deeper. Inhale, reach up, palms touching, fingers touching, and to the left. Slide the pelvis more to the right. Feel your, right, your left oblique tugging into midline. Good, inhale, bring it back to where we started, palms together, and then bring the hands back to your heart center, right back to where we started. Great job. So take an inhale here and sweep the arms from your heart all the way up to the sky. As you exhale, we're gonna bend the knees quite a bit. Please keep your feet to the outer. If you have a yoga mat, take your feet to the outer edges of your mat so your feet are wider than your hips. I forgot to mention that. Bend your knees quite a bit. And then bring your torso down. And I want you to make sure that you have room for your torso in between your thighs here. Your chest is in no way compressed. So if that means you need to bring your feet off of the mat here, it's totally fine. Keep those knees bent quite a bit, hands to the ground. We're gonna take an inhale, extend the spine and straighten out your legs here. So your crown is drawing forward. Exhale, bend the knees, crown down. Your elbows are pulling in between the legs and back. Inhale, straighten out the legs, straighten out the arms, extend the spine. Exhale, round your back, bend your elbows, bend your knees and sit down a little more. Inhale, extend, lengthen. Exhale, bend the knees, sit down, bend the elbows, pull the elbows back, round the back. One last time, inhale, open. And exhale, bend the elbows and fold. Draw your crown closer to the ground, root down more through your feet. Good, from there, inhale, let's lengthen out. Bring your hands to the floor here. Walk your feet back to the back of your mat and move into a down dog. And again, I'm gonna ask you to keep your feet wider than your hips. We won't hold this for long. We're gonna take an inhale to move into almost a plank pose. So it's what I call this pike, a pike position. It's not what the yogis call it, right? But it looks like a pike. As you exhale, move back to down dog. Inhale, move forward. So there's a little more weight bearing in the shoulders. Exhale back. A few more of these. Inhale forward. We're not sinking into the wrist here. Exhale back, abs are strong. Draw the navel in and up. One more time, inhale forward. And exhale back. Good, and then bring your knees down to the ground. Inhale, extend the spine. Then we're gonna get off of our wrists for a moment by moving the hips back to the heels. Now, a, a lot of us do not like this pose. I'm gonna switch it up for you a little bit. I want you to bring your knees out as wide as you can so you feel a stretch on your inner thighs. Sit your hips back onto your heels and walk your hands forward. And again, we're not gonna hold this pose for a long time. We're gonna move through it. So as you exhale, draw the sit bones, the bony parts of the buttocks towards your heels. As you inhale, drag your hands in and come halfway up. This is harder than it looks. <laughs> exhale, reach forward. 
Inhale, drag the hands in on that sticky mat. It's going to give you enough resistance to feel a workout. Reaching forward on your exhale. Inhale, drag the hands in. Work your core. Work your legs even. Just one more of these. Extending. And you can work up to this, right? And dragging in. It's a lot more challenging than it looks. But once you're there, I'm going to have you sit uh, over to the, no, I'm sorry. Let's come back up onto the hands and the knees for a second. I forgot we hadn't done this yet. Extend your spine. As you exhale, let's round the back. Inhale, extend the spine. Exhale, round your back. Your knees are wider than your hips still. Inhale, extend the spine. And exhale, round your back. Now this time we're going to inhale the left arm and right leg off the floor. And exhale it back down. Keep your neck neutral. Inhale your right arm and left leg off the floor. Exhale, right hand and left knee down. Inhale, left arm and right leg rise. Pull the fingers forward, pull the toes back. Exhale, release. Inhale, right arm and left leg come up. Pull fingers and toes into equal and opposite direction. Exhale, release. Remember, we need to enliven our muscles by reminding them to work. Right? Inhale, pull apart as you lift left arm and right leg. Exhale, left hand and right knee down. And one more time, inhale, right arm and left leg rise. Maybe we lift both limbs a bit higher. And exhale, release. Inhale, extend the spine. And we're gonna exhale and round the back. Good, now inhale, open up your left arm and reach your left arm towards the ceiling. Exhale, bring your left arm underneath you to the right. Inhale, left arm comes up, open the chest a little more than you did last time. Exhale, left arm underneath and to the right. Inhale, lift left arm up, open up. Exhale, bring the left arm underneath you. We're going to do this three more times. If you find that you are tired, especially if what you're dealing with is fibromyalgia, please take a break. One, uh, let's do two more. Inhale, open. And just work up to six repetitions, right? You don't have to do six today. One more time, opening up and reaching underneath and through. This time, reach as far to the right with your left arm as you can and then come back up. But opening up to see if maybe your chest can face the ceiling now and then release your left hand down to the floor. Inhale, bring the right arm up, open to the right. Exhale, right arm underneath and through to the left. Inhale, lift your right arm up, open to the right. And exhale, bring your right arm underneath and through to the left. Inhale, open even more to the right. So each time you do this, you're looking for a little more range of motion. Exhale to the left, right arm underneath to the left. I think we have two more of these. Opening and exhale, reaching. And one last time, inhale, open and exhale, reach. On this last one, we're going to increase our range of motion, sliding the right hand more to the left wall for just another moment. Good, come back up onto the hands and the knees. Inhale, extend and exhale, round. Good. Walk those knees out wide into a child's pose. Again, hips to your heels. Take your arms forward. Now we're going to slither through. And I know this won't feel graceful when we first do it. We're going to slither through into a low cobra, lifting the chest. As you exhale, lower the chest halfway. Inhale, lift the chest again. Exhale, lower the chest. One more time, inhale. Try not to use your arms as much as you're working your back muscles. Your arms are definitely helping, but the back needs to do some work as well. Now, place your forehead on the floor. Bring your arms forward. Reach your legs back. And in the same way we were doing on the hands and the knees a moment ago, take a huge inhale into the back of your body. 
Take an exhale to engage your abdominals by pulling, just think about pulling your belly button off the floor. On your inhale, let the belly expand into the floor again and bring your left arm and right leg off the ground. Hold here this time. Exhale, pull fingers forward, toes back. Inhale, lift the limbs a bit higher and exhale, release left arm and right leg down. Please try to keep your forehead on the floor. My head is lifted so that I am not muffled. If you feel like your neck hurts when your head stays on the ground, then go ahead and bring your head up, but keep your neck neutral. So in other words, your gaze is down and your forehead is kind of hovering maybe four inches above the floor. On your next inhale, right arm and left leg up. Exhale, keep the limbs up, but pull apart. Use the strength of your arm and leg to pull the ribs forward and pelvis back. Lift both limbs higher on inhale, and exhale, right arm and left leg down. Take another inhale into your lower back, into your mid back, into your upper back. Exhale, draw navel in. And as the navel comes in, make sure that your hip bones are lifting up a bit and the pubic bone is descending into the earth. Inhale, left arm and right leg up. Exhale, pull apart, reach in two directions. Inhale, lift both limbs, keep your neck neutral, make sure you're not using your neck here. Exhale, release left arm and right leg down. Inhale, right arm and left leg up. Exhale, pull apart. Remember that you are training your muscles to hold up their part of the body. Lift both limbs a bit higher and release. Take a huge inhale into belly. Expand your belly into the ground this time. On purpose, push your belly into the earth. This is so, so good for your internal organs. Exhale, engage your core. Draw navel in. Allow the, uh, <clears throat> the hip bones to rise again. Inhale one more time, left arm and right leg up. Exhale, draw length, fingers forward, toes back. Inhale, check in with your neck. Please make sure your forehead is still on the floor or your forehead is just hovering and exhale, release. Huge inhale into the back, really finding your lower back with your breath. Strong exhale, engage your abs, pull the navel in, concave that lower belly if possible. Inhale, right arm and left leg rise. Exhale, reach, fingers forward, toes back. We're lengthening our entire spine here. With your mind's eye, see your spine as you lift your right arm and left leg higher. And exhale, release everything back and down to the ground. Take your hands alongside your mid ribs. On your inhale, this time we're going to lift the ribs into Bhujangasana again. As you exhale, lower your chest, but allow the legs to come up. Inhale, lower your legs, lift your chest. Exhale, lower your chest and lift your legs. Just one more of these. Inhale, lift the chest, lower the legs. And exhale this time. Keep the legs down as the chest comes all the way to the floor and the forehead touches lightly. Push up on inhale to hands and knees. Extending your spine. Good. And exhale, round your back. This time we're going to inhale and bring the le uh, left arm and right leg up. Exhale, bring left elbow and right knee together. Inhale, extend left arm and right leg up one more time, and exhale, bring them down. The other thing that this is really good for is your brain. Um, for anyone who has, um, in, really, I mean, this has been proven, and maybe I'll, I'll talk about this in the comments of the video so I don't have to interrupt your practice, but really, really good for the brain as well, um, this asymmetrical stuff especially. Let's bring right arm and left leg up off the floor. Exhale, bring right elbow to left knee. Now, this will not be easy. It looks easier than it is. But this asymmetric stuff will throw you off balance. It's stuff we don't normally do, right? Bring the left hand and knee to the ground. So give yourself just time to send those messages. And really, what's more important about this asymmetrical movement is that you're sending the messages again and again, that we don't give up, even if we're falling all over the place and even if the limbs are doing things we don't understand why they're doing it right let's do it one more time take an inhale or two more times inhale left arm and right leg up exhale left elbow to right knee inhale lift both limbs exhale left hand and right knee down inhale right arm and left leg up 
Exhale, right elbow to left knee. Inhale, extend right arm and left leg, lift a little higher. Exhale, release. And once again, inhale, left arm and right leg come up. Exhale, left elbow to right knee. Right. Battery is going to go out, so I'm going to bring this in closer. Inhale, lift both limbs and exhale, release. Do that one more time on the other side. Sorry about that. And go ahead and release. Good, now take an inhale and extend the spine again. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I don't know where I am. As you exhale, go ahead and engage your core. Now this time we're gonna take an inhale and extend the spine. Sit back, go ahead and cross your shins. Just sit back and come into another seated position. Really, we haven't been seated yet, have we? <clears throat> so once you are seated, go ahead and um, you may need to sit on a chair and that's completely fine. Um, if you can be in a comfortable cross-legged position, please do. If you want to sit on a chair, just root down through your feet, okay? From there, we're going to inhale and reach the arms overhead. And just like we did standing, right hand comes down. Mirroring what I'm doing, your left arm reaches over. Now we're going to inhale and open up the chest toward the ceiling. This time, we're going to sweep the left arm across the body to the right, okay? And then we're gonna sweep the left arm over the left ear and come back to where we started. Let's do that much again. Inhale, open up to the, your chest up to the ceiling. Swivel the left arm all the way through the shoulder socket and around across the chest to the right, mirroring me. Inhale, swivel the left arm through the shoulder socket. Open up the chest here. Straighten out your right leg, right arm rather and then circle your left arm through the shoulder and bring the left arm across the body to the right. One more time, inhale. Please remember that this is about range of motion as well. So go further than you did the last time. Swivel that arm all the way through the shoulder and bring it across. Good, once the arm has crossed over, bring the left hand to the floor. Bring your right arm off the ground and reach back to press, and again, this is all stuff that we're sending messages through the body. And I want you to press the back of your hand, not the palm, but the back of the hand to the left side of your lower back. One more strong exhale here to ring out. And then very slowly, we're gonna come back up, sweep both arms up, press the palms together. And exhale, let's do the other side. Left hand down, right arm over, just like we did standing. Inhale, bring it back up, and exhale over. Good, now we're gonna take it up and open the chest. Lengthening out, swivel the arm back, around and down, and then across the chest, right arm to left. Inhale, circle the rest of the way through the shoulder socket, open up the chest, circle the right arm around and through the shoulder, and then bring the right arm all the way across. Inhale up, circle around and through. Reach that right arm even more to the left wall. If you're not feeling your obliques, you're not reaching far enough. One more time, open it up, circle around. And now we're gonna reach as far to the left as possible. Keep the, left, uh, the right knee pulling as far to the right as possible. At the same time, bring your right hand down. Bring your left arm around and press the back of your left hand into the right side of your lower back. Send those messages. Take a stronger exhale. Ring out even more. Inhale, slowly rise back up, both palms touching. Good, exhale, bring your hands down to the ground. Roll the shoulders up and back, just like we did in that standing position. Do that three times as the shoulders come up, shoulder blades wrap down. Good, and then reverse the circle. Even this, right? 
is a little more challenging. Tomorrow you might feel this in your upper back. Good, once you've taken three rounds in that direction, go ahead and come back. <clears throat> or I'm sorry, so if your legs are crossed, we're gonna switch that and cross the legs in the opposite way. So if your left shin was in front of your right, now cross your right in front of your left. If you are in a seated position, just stay seated on a chair, right, in any other seated position. But if we were in that asymmetrical pose, just change it. Now we're gonna take an inhale and pick up the foot that's in front, whether that's your left one or your right one. You're gonna slide your fingers in between your toes here. This is really, really important for all of us, I think, as we're aging to do. I try to do this every day. Um, many of us will not be able to do this the first time you try it. Okay, so you're gonna reach down with the other hand and wrap your fingers through your toes. Now this is going to look silly, right? What are we doing this for? But it really is nice for your nerve endings. And we're sending the messages all the way through the nerve endings here. So this, uh, obviously the, the shin that's in front, the knee will be a little higher or a lot higher, but let it start to descend downward. Now we're gonna flex the feet and then point the toes. Flex the feet, point the toes. Flex the feet, and point the toes. And do this one more time, flex, and point. Good, hold here, breathe here, and let that right knee now come, or whatever shin is in front, come closer to the floor. Hold here. So this is something I would do every day, even if you don't, don't do this whole practice every day, start doing at least this. It doesn't have to be in this position. You could uncross your legs. And in fact, let's do that. Let's go ahead and uncross the legs and bring the fingers in between the toes. Again, try to do this without pulling your toes apart with your fingers. See, even me with all of the practice that I have, I still can't quite get, there we go. The fingers in without using the other hand to help, right? But that's where we want to get to. Really, really important for especially those of you that have MS or even perhaps have MS. Uh, it's also helpful for those of you who have nerve pain. Now, flexing the feet, pull the toes back, point the toes. Flexing the toes, pointing the toes. And one more time, flex and point. Great. Go ahead and release out of that. Do that every single day. I'm going to have you lie onto your back now. So go ahead and um, bring your torso down to the floor, the back of the torso down. Your chest is opening toward the sky. Your feet are much wider than your hips here. Arms alongside your torso. Take an inhale in this position. As you exhale, we're gonna scoop the pelvis off the floor and then peel the rest of the spine up into a bridge. On your inhale, stay right there. And exhale, slowly lower. Now, the thing is to not be in a hurry about lifting and lowering. Once your pelvis touches, the back of the pelvis touches down, take an inhale. Exhale, scoop the pelvis up. You're gonna press the belly down. Your navel draws down towards your spine. Your sacrum comes off the floor. Inhale, lift, lift the rest of your torso up. Stay here, exhale, push down through your feet. Inhale, lift the hips even higher. Exhale slowly, slowly, as though you're lowering, as though your spine is a pearl necklace. And we're putting one pearl onto the floor at a time. To the best of your ability, knowing that this will get better the more you do this, right? Inhale, extend the spine. Exhale, engage your abs really strongly, draw navel in and scoop the pelvis off the floor. Inhale, peel your spine one vertebra at a time off the ground. Even if you're out of breath, just slow down that movement. Stay here, exhale, root down through your feet. Inhale, lift the hips higher. Engage your hamstrings more on purpose. So get the backs of your legs working. Exhale your torso back down to the ground slowly. One pearl at a time. And once the pelvis finally touches down, take an inhale. Exhale, scoop the pelvis up. Inhale, peel your spine one vertebra at a time off the floor. And exhale, root down through your feet. 
Inhale, hips higher, push down to the backs of the shoulders, engage your glutes, your hamstrings, and your calves. Exhale, slow, slow, slow. So shoulder blades down first. And then the backs of your floating ribs and the mid thoracic spine. And then your lower back, right? The lower thoracic spine and the small of your back. When the pelvis touches down, let the small of your back arch away from the floor. Great work. And draw your knees into your chest, clasping your hands around your shins. Now in this position, again, a little asymmetri asymmetrical work. Uh, as your knees come in, I'm going to have you bring your uh, left hand to the out, your right hand to the outside of your left shin. Push your left outer thigh into the forearm, and then switch sides. Left forearm to right outer thigh, outer shin. Push isometrically. Push outward into that arm. Switch sides. Now this time both arms are reaching. Push. Outward. You don't have to move as much as I'm doing. I just want you to see the, the direction. The arm isn't pushing into the thigh. The thigh is pushing into the arm. Switch sides, both arms reaching. Push the thigh into the arm. Now this time, reach your arms over your head. Inhale. Exhale. If you can, we're going to lift the head, neck, and shoulders up and reach. Push the thigh into the forearm. Inhale, let the head drop down, but the arms reach overhead again. Exhale, reach your arms to the right, push your right thigh into your left forearm. There's a lot going on here. Take your time with that. Inhale, arms reach back. Knees are wide open. You don't have to have your knees hip distance apart. Push left thigh into right arm. Inhale, lay the head back down, reach your arms over your head. Exhale, reach your arms to the right, push your right thigh into your left forearm. One more time in each direction, arms right, reaching back. You can always lessen the intensity and keep your head on the ground. Inhale, arms reach back. And exhale, arms reach to the right. Good, now place the feet down, arms over your head. The heels are wide apart and your toes are turned out. Take an inhale, arms are still reaching overhead. So now we're going to exhale and sweep the arms down to touch the heels. Now this is, it's almost like you're making a, um, it's almost like you're making a, what's that, a snow angel, right? So you're sweeping the arms. Move that back a bit. And the heels, we're going to sweep down to touch the heels. If your heels are too far away, don't worry about it, right? Just we're moving the fingers in that direction. Sweep the arms overhead on inhale. Exhale, sweep the arms down. Touch your fingers to your heels or get somewhere close. One more time, inhale, sweep. And exhale, bring the arms down. Good, from there with the palms still up, take an inhale, extend the left leg out to the left. Bring the left leg down and out. Bring the left leg up over your left hip and open it back out. Again, this is more challenging than it looks. Good, and bring it back out. Now, we're gonna add asymmetry to it. Reach your right arm out to the right, open the left leg to the left. That's your inhale. As you exhale, bring the right hand and the left toes together. Inhale, open, right arm out to the right, left leg out to the left. Keep your right foot rooting down into the floor and then bring the two back together. One more time, inhale, open, right arm out to the right, left leg out to the left. Exhale, root down through your right foot as you bring your right hand and your left foot together. And then release your left foot down, great work. Let's do that same thing on the other side. Let's start with the leg. We're gonna bring the left leg out to the right. Just straighten it out and move it to the right. And then bring the leg back up over the hip. We'll do this much again before we add the arm. Inhale, open right leg out to the right. See if you can open up a little more. You're still rooting down to this left foot and the left toes are pointed out. The left knee is away from you. Exhale, bring the right leg up over right hip. Left arm reaches out now to left side of room. Inhale, open. 
and exhale, bring the two together. Touch fingers and toes to the best of your ability. We wanna get those nerve endings connected. Inhale, open. Exhale, touch fingers and toes together. Inhale, open the leg out wider than you have before. Left arm open. And bring the two together. Good, I don't know if, we, I don't know. I'm not sure where we are with the count. One more time, I think. Root down to the sole of your left foot. Bring your left hand and your right toes to touch. And then release your right foot down with the heels turned in and the toes turned out and the hands alongside your glutes. Take an exhale to root down through your feet and lift the hips right up into a variation of bridge pose. Good, on your next exhale, pulse the pelvis upward and then move halfway down and back up. Just two more and halfway down. Try not to let your shoulders do this with you. Shoulders to stay out of the equation, hips up and halfway down. And remember that we're not just moving with momentum, we're engaging, so really focus on those hamstrings and glutes for this last time, and then all the way back down. Once the hips touch, take a deep inhale. Let your knees start to open up, let the soles of your feet stay wide apart. Take your hands to your thighs, your inner thighs, and without pushing down, you're gonna push your inner thighs isometrically up into your hands on your exhale and let them open on the inhale. Just two more like that. Push down with the hands, but push the thighs up into the hands instead of trying to push the knees closer to the floor. Again, my legs are shaking. This is harder than it looks. This isometric stuff, knees opening on the inhale. Exhale, push the thighs up into the hands and release. Let's go ahead and do one more of those. Push the thighs into the hands, push the hands back into that pressure, let your legs shake a bit, and release. So take your arms out to either side of the room. Good. Let's bring the knees in close. <clears throat> Rock it side to side a few times without using your arms to help you. Pull the knees over to the left, and back up to center. Pull the knees to the right, and back to center. Do that at least two more times. Good. And then once you've taken that at least two more times to each side, we're going to bring the knees first over to the left and hold there. This is a final spinal twist. Ring out your spine. Start to move your right shoulder blade closer to the floor and turn your head down so that your right ear is touching the ground or most of us won't be able to touch the ground because we have some sort of neck issue, right? Um, but closer to the ground. So right ear as close to the floor as possible. Try to negotiate your right shoulder blade coming down to the ground as well. Pull the knees meanwhile to the left wall. And for the, to the best of your ability, really truly stack right knee over left. It's not going to happen, but that's really the direction we're moving in. So we want the knee, the right knee not back, but stacked, okay? And again, we're doing this for um, sending messages particularly proprioception here, okay, so that we can really tell where our knees are and how they are. Let's bring the knees back up. Without using your arms, again, let's rock side to side a few times, all the way over to the left, all the way up and over to the right, okay, looking for a little more range of motion each time you do this. Over to one side, and then finally we're going to bring it up and over to the right again. As your knees move to the right, stack the knees so that the left knee really is exactly where the right knee is to the best of your ability. Your ankles can also stack, your feet can enliven a bit here. Reach your left arm to the left. Turn your head so that your left ear gets as close to the floor as possible. Bring the left shoulder blade to the ground as well to the best of your ability. Ring out your spine. Breathe into the stretch. Use your core to help you ring out. Take a final exhale here. Again, we're squeezing the inner thighs lightly together, checking in with the knees. Make sure your knees pull more to the right. Left knee directly over right knee. Left shoulder blade down more, left ear down more. Good, and then bring those knees back. This time we're gonna just move the toes, rotate through the ankles, 
Send those messages all the way down to the feet and then begin to do the same thing at the same time if possible with your wrists and your fingers, right? So wiggling the fingers and the toes, rolling through the ankles and the wrists. Reverse the circle. Good. And then one more thing here before we take our final rest. We're gonna really spread out the fingers, spread out the toes. If you look at your toes and there's no spaces between them, then we know we need to work on this. So one of the ways that you can activate your foot a lot more is by pulling the big toe tendon forward. You may need to, when you first start, really just palpate that and push the toe forward manually with the hand. But eventually, yeah, look down at your toes, spread them open, get those pinky toes, especially to pull open. We have to send messages to our toes that don't normally get sent. This is super good. Same thing with the hands. See if you can spread them open more than you usually do. Activate and then just shake everything out. Lay your legs on the ground and shake the legs out. Good. Take one shoulder off the floor and then the other. And then place the backs of both shoulders on the ground. Shake your whole body into the floor. Close your eyes. Find your breath. And now allow your breath to become very subtle, but remain aware of the breath. A lot of us do yoga because it calms our mind. The calming comes from staying present. Staying present is a huge gift to yourself and one that uh, most of us need. So I will invite you for just one more minute, unless you can stay here for longer, just focus on watching your inhale and then watch your exhale. You don't have to actively inhale or exhale, just let the very subtle breath be the object of your awareness. And as you follow your inhale with your mind's eye, notice how the mind wants to wander away, just keep coming back. As you follow your exhale, the mind will definitely wander away, notice it's wandered away and bring it back. There's no way that you can mess this up, right? It's just training the mind to stay focused on one aspect of your physiology, in this case, your own breath. I'll leave you with that and um, invite you to practice this meditation on your breath for at least one more minute, if not two or three. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I hope that's helpful.